Hey everyone, Steve here with Your Technology Coach. The first iOS 18.4 beta for iPhones is just around the corner, and the update is expected to include many new features and changes. In this video, I'll outline a few that you can expect from iOS 18.4 so far. Apple Intelligence for Siri. Siri is expected to get several enhancements powered by Apple Intelligence on iOS 18.4. These upgrades will include on-screen awareness, deeper per-app controls, understanding of the user's personal context, and many more. As a reminder, Apple Intelligence does require an iPhone 15 Pro or any Model 16 Pro. Apple Intelligence for more languages. Apple previously announced that the software update coming in April will make Apple Intelligence available in more languages that likely refers to the iOS 18.4. Additional languages will include English India, English Singapore, French, Chinese, German, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Portuguese, Spanish, and Vietnamese. But Apple said only some of those languages will be added in April, with the rest to follow throughout 2025. Next is improved news summaries. Apple Intelligence notification summaries for news apps are temporarily unavailable on iOS 18.3 after the feature inaccurately summarized some news stories. Apple promised that improvements to the notification summaries are coming in a future software update. So we'll see if that happens in iOS 18.4. Starting with iOS 18.3, summarized notifications have italicized text, which makes them stand out visually compared to regular notifications. New emojis. iOS 15.4, 16.4, and 17.4 all introduced new emojis, so there's a good chance that the trend will continue in iOS 18.4, with new options including a face with bags under the eyes, fingerprints, leafless tree, root vegetable, harp, shovel, splatter, and a few more. Next is the default map and translation apps for the EU. In an October 2024 document related to the EU's Digital Marketers Act, Apple revealed that it will allow iPhone and iPad users in the EU to set default navigation and translation apps. Starting in spring of 2025, that timing likely aligns with, you guessed it, iOS 18.4. For example, users should be able to go and choose Google Maps, Waze, and other options as their default navigation app, instead of just the Apple Maps. Likewise, they should be able to use the Google Translate, Microsoft Translator, or other options as their default translator application, instead of the default Apple's Translate app. These options will be added to the new default app section in the Settings app on iPhones that was implemented back in iOS 18.2. Lastly, the robot vacuum support in the Home app. Apple's website continues to state that the robot vacuum support will be added to the Home app in an unspecified iOS 18 update. When available, this feature will allow you to control key features of your robot vacuum in the home app and with Siri's voice commands. Here's how Apple describes the feature. The home app now supports the core functionality of robot vacuum cleaners, such as power control, cleaning mode, vacuum mop, and charge status. They can also participate in automation and scenes and respond to serious requests. So you can add them to your cleaning routines or tell Siri to do some spot cleaning in the living room. So that's just a small list of the new updates coming shortly in iOS 18.4 for the iPhone. Let me know in the comments section below what features you're excited about. And if you found value in this video, please consider subscribing hitting the like button so we can continue to grow this channel and reach a larger audience. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next video.